Hi, my name is Jeff Jones and I'm with Top Gallant Partners. What we're going to do today is demonstrate how to uh, download a configuration from a, a Cisco router using SNMP, Nmap, and Metasploit. So the first thing I want to do is show you the configuration. So we have our Metasploit attack server with uh, Nmap, Metasploit, and John the Ripper. I'm going to SSH into that. And then we're going to decode the SNMP uh, community strings. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run Metasploit and uh, upload the config file. Then we're going to take that config file and we're going to run it through John the Ripper and decode it. So the first thing I want to do is show you the current configuration. You see the community strings, private and public. We're going to get rid of those. So what we're going to go down is do uh, config T. And we want to do use the Cisco no command. So no SNMP, no dash SNMP server, community, public, read only, and a no on the private community string as well. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to add uh, our new community strings. So we're going to use giants for read only, and we are going to use the next community string patriots as our read write. We're going to make sure those took. And we're going to do a do show run. We're going to scroll down. Make sure that those uh, community strings are set up, and they are. All right. Uh, additionally, I've changed the password on this from the, the last video we did with Kane and Abel. So, first, let's go ahead and we're going to run nmap. And we're going to use a uh, brute uh, SNMP brute script, and we're going to use a uh, password list as our database, and that password list uh, comes default with Nmap. So we'll just go ahead and use that. And so let's copy that. And then let's paste it in. And run that. Hit enter. And Nmap's going to run the SNMP brute script. Okay, there we go. So we can see we have two valid credentials, Giants and Patriots. And so we're going to use the Patriots one. And so let's go ahead and open up the uh, Metasploit console. Okay, so Metasploit's loaded. But first, let's uh, go on Google, sped this up a little bit, and uh, see what the commands are. So this is from Metasploit. So we want to do use auxiliary scanner slash SNMP slash Cisco underscore tf underscore config underscore tftp so I'm going to open up my uh, console and we're going to go ahead and put the uh, the command in so what this is going to do is this going to is going to upload our uh, router configuration file since we now know the read write community string and so we need a couple things. We need to set the uh, the R host, which is a target, which is 192.168.1.4. And then we need to set the uh, community string, which is going to be Patriots. And 
and then we need to set the output directory so we can take a look at the configuration file this is home slash top gallon okay that's it so let's uh, run this okay so it comes back immediately it's uh, downloaded the uh, the config file and we can see that it's also identified the enable password as well as the user admin password so let's change directory to our home directory and then what we're going to do is do an ls and look for it so we see it's a 192.168 1.4.txt. We're going to do a VI on that. And we hit enter. And let's scroll down and see what the username uh, admin password and hash file is. Or so let's uh get down to that there it is so we do is copy that okay we're copying it and control C now what I need to do is um, I'll make sure I copy it okay all right so now it's copied for sure Oh, we quit. Oh, I changed something on the, the config, so Vi's making me do a uh, Q uh, bang. And so let's open up uh, for John. John, we're going to need to uh, create a password file. And what you do is you put a username in, followed by a colon, and then the, the hash. So admin colon paste. And that's our password file. So let's do a WQ bang. And now let's go to John uh, the Ripper. And we're going to open it up. And the first thing I'm going to do is show you the, uh, the commands available for John. Now you can basically just do John and the uh, password file name. Um, or you can add some options. Uh, in this case, we are going to add uh, the format option and we're going to uh, use the MD file format option. John will automatically let will automatically detect what kind it is, but we're just going to make sure. So we're going to type in uh, the command John and then the option format. and equals md5 and then a space and our password file cisco txt and we're going to go ahead and enter that and we're going to wait um, a little bit and see how how long this takes the uh the password that i changed it to is uh pretty is a uh uh, a alpha string only so it's going to be pretty pretty easy to crack so there we go we already cracked it so it's given us two choices um, but uh, the last one cheeseburger is our password cheeseburger and now we're going to go and we're going to open up a um, a new secure shell and we're going to go to the router and we're going to test it so let's scroll down to cisco router load open all right so let's put in admin and password cheeseburger not hamburger cheeseburger okay you can see we got the enable prompt right away 
we're going to do a config T just to show you that uh, we're able to do that and then a do show run so we have complete control of the router now we can do anything we want so uh, that kind of demonstrates how to use open source tools to uh, download uh, SNMP config file and thank you very much uh, have a great day and if you need to uh, talk to us reach us on our website or you can call 603-552-5140 thank you